A moment of terror for a little girl in the high desert. She was bitten by a rattlesnake. KCON's Nicole Comstock is live outside Loma Linda's Children's Hospital right now with more on this story, Nicole. Yeah, Madeline's dad tells us she's doing well tonight in the hospital, that she's happy and smiling and talking upstairs with her mom. But unfortunately, he was seven hours away when this happened to his little girl this afternoon. So you can imagine how helpless he was in those first few moments. A worried mother walks alongside a stretcher, escorting her two-year-old daughter to a waiting helicopter. The little girl, named Madeline, was airlifted to a hospital Thursday after a baby rattlesnake bit her in the arm outside her Hesperia home. She's a trooper. She's, uh, <laughs> she's happy. She's eating well and everything. So. Madeline's father says she's been treated with antivenom twice now and is in stable condition. He says she was playing outside with her twin brother near the garage when the snake slithered out of the brush and sank its fangs into her. I assume Madeline probably went, reached out to grab it and, and it bit her. You know, she kept telling my wife something was wrong, but, you know, my wife couldn't figure what it was. He says the snake then went inside the garage where his wife killed it and called 911. The child's body is smaller, and so they may have a greater risk of developing significant toxicity. We actually give them the same dose of antivenom that we would give an adult because the venom dose is going to be the same. ER physician Brian Wolk says if young snake bite victims with an injury like Madeline's go untreated for too long, the localized swelling could lead to disability. Luckily, she got here quickly. He says a patient her age is usually treated for two to three days before they can go home. We got to be very careful and clean out the whole property, make sure everything's clean so there, you know, there's nowhere for them to hide. And the hospital tells us they've recently seen a spike in rattlesnake bites and that if you're close enough to take a picture of one of them with your phone, you're probably too close. Reporting live in Loma Linda tonight, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.